I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. <clears throat> so previous classes uh, we have seen, right? How to execute the test cases from the command prompt. So in the Chrome browser or in the Edge browser, in the headless mode and the head, head mode. Now we will discuss about a uh, few methods in the uh, Cypress. So which we are going to automate. Uh, so few methods in the case, we will discuss about the scroll or uh, scrolling the page or the based on the element how to scroll. So those methods we will see today. So, so this is my open cut application demo. And uh, see, these are the three test cases uh, which I am considering. And one of the existing test cases only I am pulling uh, for showing the exam, uh, for showing the demo. Okay. So till now, so what this, uh, so it will verify feature navigation bar. So what it will do, it, this test case will do. So it will launch the browser. So open cut uh, application browser. So it will navigate to login screen. It will enter the username and the password. And uh, user, after entering the username and the password, clicking on the uh, login button. So user enters uh, into the home page, application home page. Now I'm um, so we have now like a navigation bars. So navigation headers we say. So some features is the one navigation header. I am clicking on the features uh, link. So it's a link. So when I click on that features link, so it will be in the uh, features home page. I'll show you. See where is that application? Yeah, this is the application. When it clicks on this one, so this is the page features page. So we are in the features page now. So this is one navigation headers. Okay. Now I'm picking the features. So we are in the in these features. So now in these features, now we will try to reach bottom of the screen, bottom of the page. So how we are going to reach to the bottom of the page? So that we will automate. Now that thing will automate now. Okay. Okay, this is my application. And these are some, see, this is the Cypress documentation. So in Google, uh, so this will help Cypress documentation. This is the open source, right? Uh, Cypress documentation. So based on this document only, we are going to work on this framework. So this document will help save out. So Cypress documentation, Cypress Cyber, it will give each and every information. So by seeing this, you also can design the framework and it will help a lot when you go through uh, each and every method. Yeah, this is how uh, I'm implementing this. Yeah, and also it helps a lot for each and every user. Okay, so now we will try to identify this. So now I'm in this page. Now the script till here, no, the script comes and sits here. So under features demo. So now we are in the features demo, the open card features. Now what I need to do? I need to. So my requirement is like, I need to drag like a scroll bar, no? I need to come and sit here. This is the half of the scroll bar. So I should come here and sit, I should come here. So how you are going to automate that, we'll see. Okay. Now it. Scroll. Link methods. And Cypress, okay. We will discuss so we'll discuss okay cy dot so for so so in so even based on the xy coordinates like positions also we can scroll the uh, page so we have one method called scroll scroll to so what is the scroll to we need to give we need to give the pixel in that case of pixel so 0 comma 500 i am giving so 500 pixel so within this range what it will do it will scroll the page so see why dot scroll to see how it scrolls so now after launching the browser after entering the this page so it will be here by default so now as the script says scroll to so xy coordinates 
in our case and so x y coordinates y coordinates has a pixel 500 so x is 0 so the browser reaches to here in middle here we'll see we'll see through running the automation how it reaches yeah so i'm executing now we'll execute through h h so this is the test case see see normally the browser see scroll to it is it is somewhere here see the browser no this is the scroll bar it reached half of the like a three uh one by fourth of the page hmm? see normally after login here it will be there okay we will wait and i will give the wait also so i am using hard wait here see wait dot wait or see wait dot pause i will use it will pause the script here so after reaching there where we are in the screen we will see and uh, we will pause it so dot pause which is used to help which helps now to pause the execution see pause now pause now see pause now. Now, where are we after entering the features link now open features page we are in the open features page see the scroll bar is here so i have passed on this till the test case is not executed see when i resume it now see the scroll bar has moved so there is that scroll to is happened the scroll to is happened based on the pixel xy coordinates okay so this is the one okay now in the same way in the same way this is one method now i need to go to the bottom complete bottom see why dot scroll to i will use directly bottom so we have some methods called bottom right left or top so like that now so i will use see, bottom method scroll to methods these are methods so bottom bottom left bottom right center left right top right so now i'll go to bottom directly bottom okay so when i save in the vs code no, automatically a refresh happens it triggers the browser automatically the execution triggers see we are in the bottom right we are in the bottom of the page you understood you observed so we are in the bottom of the page so this is the bottom of the page this is one method hmm? so now we are in the bottom of the page scroll to bottom so this is the bottom of the page see? you understood right so even we can do example like this i will pause it i will pause it so let it run like this See here, you can see the execution time in the test run. How much the test case is taking? See, the, the test case is passed. We are in the features page. So it is in the top. Now scroll to bottom that method what, where it will take. See, so directly the scroll to bottom, bottom method it took to bottom of the page. See, bottom of the page. Now, what I'll do now after this. I will do again cy.pause. Pause, okay. Mm. See, now what I am doing again, I am doing cy. Scroll to. I am using top method now. See, top method. Now what you should do, you should take the top. Yeah. See, now the execution started. see we are in the top of the page hmm? 
when I resume the execution, I will pause now. So it came to bottom. This is the bottom of the page. Now okay. we are in the bottom of the page. Again, pause. Again, I am resuming. See, okay. if I resume, it will it will go to the top of the page. See, again, went to top of the page. See, I have tested with the bottom as well as top. It came to bottom and again top. This is working. Mm -hmm. This is one way. Suppose. We have one more method called scroll into view. CY dot. Uh, suppose now based on the method, based on the method. Now uh, see on the bottom, no, based on the method. Now this is a copyright link. This is any other object. Based on the object, I need to move the screen to the bottom or the page to the bottom based on the capturing the object. So how we can do that one, we'll see. So we will be before we have checked with the either scroll to methods or uh, like giving the options like a top or right, right, left, like that, or going to the pixels. Now capturing the object based on the object, we will drag to the bottom. Okay. Okay, copyright. So this is the copyright. I will take this element, complete element. Okay, it should identify the element. ID. ID. Okay. See, this is the element. By this element, I need to scroll to the bottom. Okay. See, why dot get method? We need to use the get method to handle the DOM elements. Dot, we have one more method called scroll into view. So this will get viewed. So it will come to that object. So I'll, I'll open one pause here. So what will happen is we are pausing the script it's for understanding the okay. See now the test case got launched. Now we are handling the scroll into view method by capturing the element. Based on the element, we are scrolling the page to the bottom. So now we are in the open features page and I am resuming the test. See, based on the element, I have captured this element based on that element, so it has been dragged down, right? Right, see, with this element, it has come down. You understood, right? Yes, so, okay. The same thing, we'll capture this element. The same thing we will do with the help of cy dot get So what we'll do by using scroll to bottom. I will use bottom method. So now see, now based on the element of scroll into view. So we are weaving the, uh, by capturing the DOM element, we are dragging the page to the bottom by the scroll to view. The same thing we will do with the scroll to view. But scroll to no scroll to the, there should be some scrollable element to move. But I have captured now the DOM element. Whether it will work or not, we'll see.
I'm resuming it. Okay, it is giving error. Uh, see, make sure you are targeting the correct element or use the installable false to disable the scrollable check. Okay, scroll to means this element will uh, let capture the scroll to elements. No? Oh, so we are making, it is asking to ensure that, uh, because no, whatever this element I have captured, no? whatever the element I have captured, this is a captured element. This is not scrollable element, right? This is not scrollable element. That's why it is asking to make false. So when you are capturing the elements with the help of scroll to, we need to make the scrollable function to be false. We'll check in this way. We'll check in this way, comma. So based on the element we are making, so I'll comment, okay, let it be. Let it run. See, now we are in the page on Peter's page and the scrollable element is on top. Okay, still it is in top only, but the element is identified. So because the element is not scrollable too, right? See, the element is identified, okay? Element is identified, but still the page is in bottom, top of the page. Yes, that is all. Okay, so when we are working with the scroll to no, we need to give ensure scrollable false because this will not scroll the, this is the, a DOM element which is captured bottom, but this element is not a scrollable element. That's why we need to make ensure scrollable false. The page remains same at the top only, but the object will get identified. This element will get identified when we give ensure scrollable false. If not, it will throw an error. Understood, right? So these are the methods. So now we have learned scroll to uh, scroll into view on the false methods in this test case. Yeah.